All right, hi everybody, it's Lacey here. So uh, I've been looking for a new camera um, to start some vlogs and just have better video quality um, to update a couple of courses that I have online that I teach. I needed it to look crisper and sharper and all that stuff. And I need a good camera to help carry around with us when we go on all sorts of adventures and travel and try out products and stuff like that. Um, so I've been researching a whole lot and looking into different cameras. And one thing that really helped me when I was looking Looking at the cameras is the comparison videos where people tried it out uh, real time and vloggers that were actually using this equipment. Um, so I wanted to help you guys out and help you make a decision as well. So the two cameras that I'm seriously looking at is the G7X from Canon, it's the Mark II, and also the Canon EOS M6. I was comparing both of them in Best Buy, and gosh, I spent a long time testing them both out. I couldn't make up my mind. <laughs> I really wanted to buy them both and test them both out for like a week, but there's a restocking fee if you do that, so it would have cost me like 90 bucks to test them out. So instead, I went ahead and bought the G7X um, because there's no restocking fee if you return it, and I'm gonna test it out, put it through its paces. It might be exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to uh, test it out in a couple of ways that would be common in my vlogs and see if it's really the best fit for me or not. So here we go. So here are all the things that came with my G7X when I bought it. Um, I went ahead and sprang for the video creator kit. That's this colorful box in the back here. And that comes with a couple extra things. It comes with the camera itself, of course. Um, it came with a charger and a battery and an extra battery, which is really important because if you shoot a lot of video, you're going to need lots of batteries and they're expensive. So it's nice when they come with an extra one. Um, a memory card, a wrist strap for my camera so I don't drop it and this cool tripod thingy. Um, it makes it a little easier to hold when you're self-taping. And what I really like about this one is that you push the button and the head rotates around. So it's really easy to adjust. So I liked this little thing. Um, it came in handy a few times. Okay, let's talk about some of the features of the G7X and the things that I liked and the things that I didn't like. It is very, very small. That is very useful. Look how small it is. You can fit it into a camera bag. I had this little camera bag. Um, it's actually a cell phone purse, I believe, and it fits in there really nicely. So I love that I can just throw that in my purse and I'm good to go. It's not very heavy. You don't need any extra lenses. Um, point and shoot, you're ready to go. This is great probably for travel because um, you don't have to bring a lot of gear with you. And that's initially what drew me to the G7X, is that it's small and very portable. It has a very nice, bright, sharp, vivid color to it. It has a certain look. And when I was comparing initial footage of the G7X and the M6, I really liked the look of the G7X. It made it really neat looking in my opinion, so I liked that. It also automatically smooths your skin very nicely. It has great image stabilization, better than the M6 in my opinion. Wonderful if you're on the go, it really helps stabilize things. Another pro, it has that built-in UV protection. Um, it's very easy to use. The G7X has a lot of dials on top um, and different modes as well. You can do the um, autofocus, you can do different portrait modes, you can adjust the exposure. Um, there are buttons on the back to change your settings. There we go. Uh, you can also change it with that little ring surrounding the big button right here. It's a nice flip-up screen, similar to the M6, so you can see yourself pretty well if you're filming yourself. And it's a nice portable little camera. It's great in low light. Okay, so I have the camera in auto and I'm shooting video in a pretty pitch black room and check it out It is picking up my face. I mean clearly I'm not gonna f film stuff that often in really dark settings But you know, I might film something at night So this is useful that it can tell that I'm here all things I very much liked about the G7X
Now some of the cons on the G7X, you can't really customize it very much. You can't add on any other lenses, but you might not need that. That may be exactly what you're looking for. Um, it can be a little hard to find the recording button sometimes when you're holding it up, um, shooting at yourself. You have to figure out how to get it to start and stop. So that's a little annoying. It would be ideal, I think, if there was some way to start it from the front, but yeah, I, I don't think that's standard. Just would be nice. The audio on its own is not very good. Some people had complained that with the G7X, you hear this little clicking sound when it autofocuses a lot. Uh, when I'm holding the camera and pointing it at something else, I can feel the motor inside doing the autofocus, but I'm not hearing it right now. I was a little concerned about it being in quiet rooms and, and having the clicking bother me in the recordings. <laughs> So yeah, if you're just on the go and you don't really care about your audio, you're not talking very much, it'll be great. But if you're doing interviews and things, you probably want an external mic. And there are ways to get around that on this camera, um, using a lapel mic and recording straight to your iPhone or a, a digital recorder, you could do that. It's just gonna cost you extra and accessories. One of the things I do wanna discuss about the G7X is that I had noticed on a few vlogs, people were talking about their getting dust into the lens. Um, when they would look at their camera lens, there would be a hair or dust getting in there somehow. And when I asked the Canon guy at the store about this, he said he'd never heard of that and that that just cannot happen. But if you do a search, you'll find a couple of videos where this did happen to some vloggers that took really good care of their cameras. And I was really scared about that if I was gonna be keeping this camera. So I bought one of these lens caps. Um, it's just a 58 millimeter lens cap, goes right on over the front just to keep it a little safer. Um, I didn't want that to happen to my camera because there's really no way to fix it if uh, hair and dust gets inside the lens. So you have to be especially careful if, um, if you're carrying this around in your purse or something, you probably wanna get a, a cap just to protect it. It's an expensive camera, you wanna keep it safe. So that's another thing to consider. The biggest reason I decided to return the G7X and go with the M6 is that the autofocus was just not very reliable for me. Yeah, it's a little blurry. There we go. I had to tap it again to get it back in focus. The more I looked at all the stuff that I was shooting, it went in and out so much on my face and I could see the camera blurring um and that really bugged me i it was more noticeable than i had hoped toby is showing me pikachu let me see you got pikachu yeah. pikachu <laughs> pikachu pika pika pikachu <laughs> yeah that's awesome buddy so yeah the autofocus is not amazing it's decent you know if you're walking along doing travel stuff but yeah, I liked the M6's autofocus better. It's a good starter camera. I would recommend this for most people starting out with a vlog. It was very good. I just decided the more I tested it that I needed some extra features and that's why I went with the M6.